So we're gonna continue on with Zer's Exotic there. I do apologize that I haven't been keeping up with it, but uh, just stuff has been busy, man, Leg legitimately. So with things out of the way, finally, we're gonna get back to just our regular stuff. Uh, this week, we're gonna be doing the Sealed Ahamkara Grass for the Hunters, Peregrine Greaves for the Titans, and Chromatic Fire for the Warlocks. Unfortunately, Hunters, <sighs> Sealed Ahamkara Grass were not that great to fashion around unless you go for a specific look which i've already done so this is the hunter this is what i came up with i'm not gonna lie it's not the best i think i went in with like rule of cool like what i thought looked cool so that's why a lot of these pieces are just like mix mix mashed or mishmashed uh let's start with the helmet the helmet i originally started off with this helmet and i actually still think this actually looks better so i'm just gonna keep this on instead uh so yeah, like I said, I was going for like the rule of cool, which essentially just means like what whatever looks cool to me, I'm just gonna slap it on. So obviously this helmet, I really wanted to combine the gold with it. So that's why I'm using the shader, which is Iron Battalion. This is like Destiny 2 year one shader for Iron Banner. So this is a very rare shader. Uh, I actually might not be considering they were still uh, giving out the shader like between year one, two and three. Uh, I don't know about now, but you might never know. They might bring it back, which I do kind of hope they do. For the arms, again, we're using the Sealed Ahamkara Grasps. I love these arms in Destiny 1. I don't like them now because they got nerfed. Uh, and they just, they're really hard to uh, transmog around because if you don't go for like a really edgy, like almost like monster look, then it it's very hard. Uh, just because for me, I'm all about them themes. So like when I see something like this, I think of like uh, organic armor, organic armor, like monster armor, something like that. Not saying this looks bad. I think this looks cool. It's just this would work better with like a va vagabond look. But for the chest piece, we're using the staple chase vest. This is like one of my favorite chest pieces uh, for the hunters just because of the amount of like weaponry and our ammo they have on them this is good for a a like a tactical uh look which i'm gonna be using this in a, in a separate build uh for the boots we're using the iron forerunner strides which these are good i was thinking about using the psionic ones because they these two pair really well together but i already used this in one of my builds for the reviews for the armor, which I'll have in the link below. But yeah, let me, uh, I just, I also just love these, this uh, chest or this uh, boots just in general. For the cloak, we're using the Moonfang X7 cloak. This is one of my favorite cloaks uh, just because of the like plate here. And it just looks really cool. Honestly, again, like I said, I went with the rule of cool for this one. I was just like immediately like, oh, I just want to look cool. I don't care about anything else. If you are wondering what my previous build was, if you guys haven't seen it, then it's going to be something along the lines of this, which uh, you'll understand why I didn't go with it. This is something I did a while ago for the Halloween of last year. And the reason I didn't want to do it again is because I've I've been doing that a lot for these uh, videos, so I decided to like really just do something else. And yeah, this is what I was go that this is what I went with last last year in Halloween, which makes sense. Uh, dinosaur head, uh, fucking claws, and then uh, claws here as well. Uh, I probably had a different chest piece because I wasn't wearing three pieces of it. Yeah, it was this one actually. So I was doing something like this uh, with a different shader, obviously. So. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's this is unfortunately one of those uh, exotics that is just really hard to pair with if you're not going for an edgy slash like organic armor look. And yeah, let me know. I know I know it's not the best, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, next up is the Titans. And for the Titans, we have the Paragon Greaves. These are some fun boots to mess around with. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did make this a little bit harder on myself because I wanted to have the glow of like the, the bluish green, nah, not bluish, like, well, I mean, bluish like turquoise, I guess. I wanted to have this uh, this glow on other pieces of armor, which is why I'm using the Virtuous Plate and the Tusk Allegiance is for the glow up here, but also because it has tusks. And 
the Paragon brief to me has obviously has spikes. So I was just like, let's just get into the spikes. And for the chess piece, we'll just ignore it because I don't think there's any ch chess piece that the Titans have that has spikes. And even if they did, I probably wouldn't like it. So again, for the helmet, we have the Tusk Allegiance helm. I never thought I would actually like this helmet enough to actually buy it from the, the transmog thing, but I did and I've been using it a lot, surprisingly. Uh, for the arms, we're using the Devastation Complex arms, which is really weird considering I crutch on this one more. This is the chest piece that I crutch on hard. I pretty much use this on everything because I think it's the best chest piece that the Titans have, period. And I vetoed myself from using it because I know I abuse it too much. Uh, for that, for the boots, we have Peregrine Greaves, obviously, that's what Xur is selling. And then for the cloak, we're actually using the phenotype plasticity mark, which the reason there's two reasons why I'm using this. Reason number one is because the the Paragon Greaves to me has a very vex look to me. And I kind of wanted to at least like showcase that a little with the with the plasticity. Not only that, I love the fact that the plasticity has uh, like this like crotch plate here, because if it was up to me, I'd be using this one right now because I not only love this mark but i love that it gives you uh, a crotch plate the only unfortunate thing is the purple feathers never change color that's why i'm not using it so that's it titans let me know what you guys think this one was a little bit easier for me because uh, i kind of knew what i wanted i wanted to glow and i wanted spikes as well so that's what i really went into uh, next up is warlocks and then i'll give you my final thoughts and for the warlocks we have chromatic fire this one Oh my god guys let me tell you this one took me exactly not even a minute to make because i already knew what i wanted to go with this uh, chromatic fire has this really good uh, ornament called complex control which is heavy vex look and fortunately for me i already have a vex look if you guys haven't seen it yet uh, i'll show you real quick it's it's literally my main bread and butter look that i always go with uh so it's this right here with the difference of this one and so this is my main uh warlock build that i usually do on pretty much everything this is my vex look this is what i always do so when i saw that it was chromatic fire i was like well i'm gonna use the ornament for it because the ornament looks super dope and this is what i came up with uh for the helmet, we're using the facade of Hezen Lords uh, just because I didn't want to use uh, the phenotype plasticity because I already have it in another build. And I actually do like this one a little bit more for it. The arms are the phenotype plasticity arms because these just look way better with it. The chest piece, again, I'm using the chromatic fire with the conflux control ornament. The boots, however, I was thinking about using the phenotype plasticity boots I, if I can ever find it. Uh, but the main reason I didn't use it is because it doesn't look very vexy to me. Like, unless you see up here where it, like you can see the lines of white, but everything's covered. So I decided to use this one, which is a little bit more. To me, it looks more vex from the bottom. So that's why I'm using it. And then for the arm, I didn't change it. Phen phenotype plasticity. Uh, phenotype plasticity for this one just because it looks good and the red light really helps it as well so that's pretty much it uh warlocks let me know what you guys think i actually really really liked how this one came out if i would use this uh look this is or if i had if i would use this exotic this is the exact look i would be rocking right now uh, it's just unfortunate that uh i don't use this exotic so i never looked this cool so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do apologize that I've not been doing the Xur's Exotic Dare. Although I think like only five people watch this, but I appreciate all five of you. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have a lot of fashion stuff that I'm going to be posting because I've just been nonstop making new, new looks. Like my Hunter alone, I've already remade some of those looks and they look amazing. So... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, outlets, links are in the description below. Again, like always, I appreciate all of you guys that watch, comment, subscribe, everything. I really do appreciate you guys because uh, sometimes doing YouTube is really hard. And uh, seeing comments, likes, and all that really motivates me to just keep going. So I will see you guys later.